you go 1200 so this is more this is more like what we used to down TV um, it's the same coach um, he doesn't have bulls so that's good four rerolls two coaches two cheerleaders so he's actually got a quite a bit of bloat here one three lost two all right not so bad not so bad being down that TV then um. not actually not actually that salty about this matchup I think I'll buy a wizard though. No reason not to, is there? Cheat, cheat a wizard in. Seems good. Funnily enough, seeing as this this team is called Crusaders, I had to actually uh, set up my uh, run a little bit there for Crusaders. So there you are. That was that was that explains the silence there. Um. Must be a total biscuit fan. Really, does total biscuit no go go no bowls? Um, right. Kicking again. I do like kicking with lizards just because their defense is so good, and um, their offense. You know, though I find the times you don't win with lizard men is when you uh, fail a hundred pickups and uh, don't score. Well, okay, not a hundred, but a few pickups and don't score because of it. So, I like I like defending. Yeah, no bulls. It's it's not even bad. To be fair, I went chops without bulls with my um. Yeah, right. I see. Um, to be fair, I went no bulls with my min maxed chaffs in fumble, which like went on a forty match winning win streak or something. So uh, a forty, forty unbeaten, uh, not forty win streak. It was like twenty win streak or something. Um, oh wow! Okay, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, you got to make the the Scotland flag for the uh, for the cage, haven't you? Um, yeah. Never seen this game before. <laughs> it's a, it's a good game. It's it's good when you're playing for fun. <laughs> it, it's torture when you're playing for the money normally, but um. Yeah, low TV claw palm is is very good, and it's just it's just they're just efficient anyway. You don't even need claw palm for them to be 
you know, dwarf blockers are amazing, aren't they? And for the dwarf blockers are amazing for the TV, and so are hobgoblins. So the only thing that's bad for the TV is the rerolls. So so min min maxing uh, min maxing chaffs like this is fine, but obviously. Once you match, once you find out you're down 80 TV, you'd rather the uh, you'd rather they didn't have bulls and stuff. Right? Really, like if I would rather it was not min maxed <laughs> killers, but it doesn't look anywhere near as crazy with them not having bulls. Ugh, it's just all the block, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah, it's full of jaded veterans. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Could be. It's the same coach who's already conceded, so. Yeah, that's the thing. It, but only jaded because of the champion ladder format. Which, you know, it, it wouldn't matter what. Well, it would matter. But it wouldn't matter too much what the format was. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Jelly. Um. Yeah, that's the thing, it's like... It wouldn't really matter what the format of the Champions Ladder is. The fact that there's a 500 euro prize for, you know, a game with plenty of luck involved and it's meant to be fun. Monetizing it is a bad idea. A really bad idea. I, th I'm, I think, personally, what they should have done was... You know, worked on the single player, worked on guides for it and stuff. Try to make it more accessible. Um, got to blitz him, haven't I? Just because he's got mighty blow. I could blitz a hobgoblin though. Could do it with a crocs or a block guy. Maybe just base this hobgoblin and then uh, blitz him. I really don't want him to hit me with Mighty Blow. So now he's got a GFI to hit me, hasn't he? I'll try to get the Crocs in there, then I could stand him up. Protect the skinks. Yeah, don't stand him up because he'll just get knocked over. Um, there are no centaurs. <laughs> okay, one <and> grenade. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> um. The centaurs. I need one of those, don't I? I need one of those. I need a rainbow thing like that. Holy shit. Jim Pride. Definitely need one of them. Uh, yeah, no bulls or no balls. Yeah, he doesn't have bull centaurs. Four re-rolls. That's the thing. He's not min-maxing, right? If he was min-maxing, he'd have two re-rolls. Um, so, yeah. And he's he's got assistant coaches and cheerleaders, so he's he's clearly a beginner rather than a uh, rather than a min maxer, and you know he could have just had balls, really. So, so yeah, I'd, ra I'd rather he had this than than balls. Though there's nothing wrong with going ballless. Oh yes, that's brilliant, Kurgal. Because Jim Rage isn't used much, so you know. I oh, actually have been best. Jim I should have best prefix. Oh, Ducky, where were you when I was trying to think of my prefix? I'm I'm really not happy with Jim. But best would have been maybe. Hello, Zunk. Yeah, Combat Pram Simulator is, uh, you know, it, 
it was always just my break game, wasn't it? I'm still going to be playing it, but it's going to be after Blood Bowl um, rather than instead of. Yeah, exactly. If you call it Jim Fagos, somebody would take offence. It's so bad that you can't call it Fagor. <laughs> I couldn't even have Fagor in the title. That's a GFI, GFI away from 2D on the ball, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI. A GFI and a base. 1, 2, uh, A base isn't so easy. So maybe a double GFI and giving away a mighty blow hit. So yeah, he's got a dodge. Oh. He's got to re-roll it as well, hasn't he? He left himself completely open. Had to, um... Yeah, Jim Pryor, that'll do. Right, so that's good. So that's, that's two, two. So again, this is like, this is like the other match where you've got the, um... The blitzers to worry about, you've got to worry about the blockers. So obviously blockers manned up on Saurus means they ain't doing fuck all. But then Skinks can't really do that much either, can they? Could knock him down then one, two, three, four, five, six GFI. So knock down into a GFI to hit the ball is fine, isn't it? So I can stand these up. And just go for this, eh? Could make it three, but then it stops getting round. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Just got to get the pal for 2 dB. They don't need a block. I guess he can blitz the sore, the this hobgoblin if it fails no safe moves to be made really I don't think 2D hoping for a pal oh baby oh, I didn't mean to see he can block him there right, just go in for it then eh He's gonna get punched. He could go there, I guess. It's not bad, is it? Not a bad place to stand. All you can do some things here, can't you? Go there, I'm in scoring range, aren't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or five from here. So get a, get a canoring threat going. And then try to knock down the uh, mighty blow guy. And his man. Then can free him up next turn, potentially. the strength six pom yeti <laughs> no ba 
bastard. Yeah, this was bad giving up that block, wasn't it? But still, <laughs> he moved. He moved his hobgoblin the wrong square to not make it two dice. So that that was good. I don't know about that, my guy can. I think probably games in daytime are easier than at night in if you've got the higher TV team, because then you'll be with there's going to be fewer players, so you're going to be more likely to have the TV advantage, aren't you? That's the thing. If you if you've got a lower TV, um, hey. The only really thing is density of players, isn't it? That's the that's the deciding thing. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Concede incoming. Um. Right, block him to get the block on him. Was stupid of me, I guess. No, I had I had to go for the ball here. Yeah. I had to go for that. One, two, three, four. I want to make this three dice now, but I can't really. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. You can block him, get him up. Sandwich him. Get him away from there, maybe. Oh, now there's a tackler on both of them. That was awful. He's mighty blow though, so that's him dealt with. Okay, that was really bad in it now, I've got to dodge away from tackle. Shit. Maybe just leave him down. Yeah, it is 3-0, yeah, he has on 3-0. Three concession victories. Using both rerolls by turn 3 is sucks, doesn't it? Can't remember the first reroll. I guess that was fine, that reroll, then. Maybe 
be the first one. Yeah, pretty fantastic. Yeah, we get the, I mean, I could have used it, couldn't I, then? But, I mean, it was so easy to get the ball. That was the thing. It was so easy to get the, the 2D on the ball that I didn't want to use the wizard. So, I guess when I go for the 3-0 or whatever. <laughs> He's got two reserves as well, so he really has got quite a bit of bloat. I guess it means he can foul though, which might be what he's looking at here. Base the ball. Not even bad now, is it, without any rerolls at all? Might be best just to take the touchdown here on turn four. Yeah, he's going for the foul. Good shout, really, with two reserves. Maybe he's not with a sure hands guy. He doesn't have any. Um, he doesn't have any. Madman. <laughs> no. Another one in his GFI billion. I want to stay in the way of the uh, match four guy, don't I? Oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> right, so first things first, get over here. Have to blitz the uh, mighty blow guy, don't I? So, he can stand up. And so can he. He can block. Two assists and blitz him, I guess. Hmm. Not good, is it? Giving up lots of blocks here. Shit. With the mighty blow, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I, sh I wanted to stand him up, but I shouldn't have. I should just run them away over here, and then he would have been hitting a Saurus, which he would need a bit of help with. Instead of just teeing off on the skin. And this is a 2D and another 2D, so I'm really, really fucked that skin. Maybe you should have followed and dodged away. Sidestep one's gonna get spotted, isn't it? Shit. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Two GFIs for no reason. Well played, mate. Gotta, gotta eat that. Gotta eat that one, haven't I? Well, Lee, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Good to be back in it, playing, <laughs> playing my favourite game. Like it's crazy. That I, I don't know. It was about a month of not playing Blood Bowl, wasn't it? But. I was always going to get back into it, obviously. Following a game with his short hands guy, which is a bad idea. And go just blitz him with block and then score. And then he's got no rerolls, I'll go wizard and three turns to maybe turn him over again. Two chances to get the skink back. It's the edge four guy with a block. Because I don't need to uh, hit him. So yeah, okay. Then. Two dicer with block. Could just go in the corner actually. Let's go. Oh shit. Too far away for a touchdown foul. Yeah. Good call, Tony. Good call. Good call. How was he? How was it feel? But he's he's got thirteen players, so just going for mindless attrition wasn't so good, was it? I thought, you know, try to get lucky, getting rid of the mighty blow guy, or make a difference by getting rid of the edge four guy. <laughs> Thank you, Seanick. Um Yeah, Zunk, Zunk, I'm, I'm back. I'm back streaming every day. So, yeah. Well, every weekday. Occasionally weekends. Um, I guess I'll stream every day. I'll stream the fucking, what's it called? Cross out every day. Because there's no reason not to stream cross out, is there? But, um, cause I've got to play cross out every day. So I might as well stream it. Um, but yeah, Blood Bowl will be five days a week. I would stream this weekend, but I'm gonna try and get my uh, get my guides, get my guides done. <laughs> yeah, one and three. I want to get the touchdown fouls in while I can. <laughs> <laughs> I 
They've got other house rules though, haven't they? Like like chainsaws that don't get sent off and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, hopefully Zunk we won't have to we won't have to jump bump into each other because when Legendary Edition comes out we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to have the uh, have the Fashtastic League. We've played once before, um not on stream or anything though. We've played once in real life on tabletop, where uh, Andy had Amazons with Roxana Darknail, and I had, I um, can't even re remember what I had. Oh, I had my undead, I had my undead too. And uh, I didn't knock over. <laughs> oh no, I knocked over loads of his players because he was moaning about rolling pals. But I mean, I was rolling three dice with him a lot of the time. Um, but I didn't really hurt that many players, I don't think. And then I got really lucky. Uh, well, let, let's see. How lucky did I get? I, um, I forced him to score early. And then um, I forced him to score early. And then I just did like, you know, because he still had players, I had to just potato it, basically. I beat him with a potato. I potatoed it, and then he, uh, and then he, uh, he didn't get me with Roxanne. He failed like a 2 plus leap or a 2 plus GFI or whatever, because she's got a loan, hasn't she? So, like, <laughs> potatoing against Roxanne Darknail is like the worst thing you can possibly do. The worst possible player to potato against, but um, I had to because I didn't have the time. And uh, yeah, there you go. So I I managed to beat him, and then he failed to do his one turn because obviously I had the uh, I had the one turn defense, which is pretty good. My right, Croxy. Lots there. I didn't. I don't recall him being eight foot tall, but um, <laughs> my, the friends that I have are freakishly tall. Freakishly tall. Freakishly tall. So um, I can't say I noticed too much on other people. With other people. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe just go side on there. He's got a good little pocket here, though, hasn't he? Then. So I have to come around there to uh, stop that. Oh, I didn't carry on moving him. What a prick. What an absolute fucking prick. Oh well. Alright, that means that he's in there now. He's also blocking where I'm moving. So that was pretty bad, wasn't it? Thinking I'll move him here. I often do that. I just think I'll move him there and then don't actually move him. That was pretty bad. next turn. I don't really want to use the wizard without a reroll though. Let's see. <laughs> um I honestly didn't even notice, but um <laughs> I'm not freakishly sure. Honestly Tony, right? My friends, one six foot seven who, when he got measured at hospital, he was six foot eight. Um, one's a copper and six foot five. Another one's six foot four. And then they're like, they're basically my three best friends are six four, six five, and six seven. So, you know, that doesn't really make me short, does it? Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I've totally sold this blood sidestepper down the river. He's totally going to play the same. I was really bad not moving them. Well. I guess it's made the defense against the touchdown better. But I really wanted to double mark the uh, the mighty blow guy with Saurus then. Shit. Four foot eleven. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I do have alabaster's gear. I'm, I'm, I am, I am five foot eleven. There you go. Which five foot eleven isn't short, is it? It's a, it's a good height for like, um, you know, a lot of things. Five eleven. But. I'm not six foot, and and then so my three, my three, my three fucking my three best friends are all over six foot four, and then all of my other friends are over six foot, like literally all of them. <laughs> ah, I'm blitzed him. I guess gold next to this next to the Saurus. So he didn't blitz with mighty blow. That was good. He would have broken up, broken armor if he had. Yeah. <laughs> Five eleven isn't tiny. Five eleven isn't tiny. Five eleven is probably the same height as Arnie. Because Ar Arnie claims 6'2", but no way is Arnie 6'2". He's like... He's like maybe 6 foot. So... Everyone's tall and still alone. Stallone's like 5 foot 2, isn't he? And like, Jason Statham is 4 foot 10. I'm definitely taller than that guy out of... Uh, <laughs> that guy out of Westworld. What's he called? Ed Harris. Ed Harris is fucking tiny. <laughs> yeah, Arnie, Arnie claims to be 6'2", but there's no way. There's no way Arnie is 6'2", you know. It, it, no way. He, no way he claims to be taller than he is, 100%. <laughs> I like, I'm a big fan of Statham, but he, he's, he, is, he is incredibly short, isn't he? It's better to be... Um, it's better to be short though, isn't it? For like, um, for the movies, isn't it? <laughs> Try. It's better to be short for the movies. <laughs> no, 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 John Dobbs. I'm not a wrestler or a movie star, <laughs> so I don't, I don't need to add a few inches on all the time. Yeah, Tyrion Lannister. I could fireball here, couldn't I? Um, I obviously bolt pick up handoff. He, there's no he no no way he's scoring because I just he's only got two scoring threats so I probably shouldn't waste my wizard as it were maybe keep it for offense in case I'm struggling one two three four five six seven eight if he goes down from the fireball doesn't do anything. If he goes, it doesn't do anything. If I hit here, and he goes, then he can block and still can't get anyone in. So so it's a bit of a shit fireball, to be honest. It would be better just to bolt him, and then hope it goes to one of these three squares. So, nah, it's all a bit shit. I just need to do safe moves first, don't I? Block him. I need to, um, keeping him on him is fine. I need to make sure that I don't double skull here. And the only way I did, oh god, I didn't mean to stand him up, fuck. Giving away a block there for no reason. I did a safe move first. Oh, 
That was a really bad stand up. But now if I double double skull at least he's still based. Should bring his tip board down. One, two, three, GFI, GFI. I can't do it though. I can't bring myself to fucking do it. It's actually quite the opposite of no balls, Jelly O. No balls would be to take the both down, um, knowing that it's the best choice to prevent the touchdown. But I went for the actual balls route of maybe conceding for the greed of uh, the greed of playing out the rest of my turn to um, get more chance of a counter touchdown. That was really dumb though, that stand-up. That stand-up was awful. At least I get the sidestep here, I guess. Ah, don't block that square. Yeah, that's that, I deserve that for that stand-up. Fair enough. Well, he's a player down, isn't he, Verlaine? If that's the thing, he's a player down. So, I don't want to have 10 men's. That's it. That's all my apple's for. My apple is for any player that gets removed. Obviously, yeah, miss next game is the worst thing to, uh, is to, uh, the worst thing to apple, but last turn of the half, I, you know, it's... He's running out of time to cast my guys, isn't he? Okay. So just block him. And get him in for the... Uh The only bad thing is that I'm in the tackle zone of him, isn't there? Is there a way to get rid of that? No, I guess not. Oh, Kazdin. Glorious. Should have followed, I guess, because I don't want the ball to end up there. But then I don't want to catch it either, do I? But there's only one in six to catch it, so I guess I should have followed. Pretty bad. Pretty bad spot for the ball. Hmm. Just punch stuff. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's really, really hard now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI is basically impossible. It's going to be better to do a three plus three plus here, isn't it? And then two two pluses. Yeah, it's gonna be better than the pass. Oh. 
Basically impossible. If it had a reroll though, that's why I didn't want to use the wizard because it was always going to be tough, wasn't it? To roll some dice. <laughs> Did he not apple his Edge 4 guy? Wow. What a madman. Right, so got the wizard and 11 players. There you go. <laughs> yeah, fucking skates. <laughs> it's funny that one of the most challenging things in Blood Bowl is just running around. God, I'm hungry as fuck. I'm gonna have to eat something after this game. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what, Tony? I probably should have gone for. I probably should have gone for the. Use the wizard to try and get the extra touchdowns. Probably should have done. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? A one in six to fucking fail. Every extra square in that. Crazy. Right, Stefan Wolf, six more parts. That's twelve defenders I need. I've got three. I'm gonna just get ten more then. No, it's my setup. Right. Reptilian jaw. Sounds good, doesn't it? He's on eight. He's on eleven. So he gets the. Oh no, he gets it to go to eleven as well. I guess. Because I would, I would, I would like them skilled. To be fair, I like having a super skin. Just put him back here so he can't get blitzed. On a blitz. stuff here on this fucking cross out Um, hello KLZ, thanks, yep, lizards, um, yeah, I like, I like, I don't like double, um, I don't like leader on a Saurus, but I like leader on a Crocs, definitely. <laughs> he symbolizes the pain of this game, personally. <laughs> yep, that's true. That's true, Zung. Uh, that's what ha actually happened against against um, against Inarian. Because he failed dodges and GFIs, they did more damage than my Corpon. 
Wow, that, that went, time seemed to go down really quick. It's crazy, isn't it, Bob Skills? Right, so no re-rolls for anything this turn. Oh, ho, 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 hey. Good job it was the... <laughs> Good job it was that first. Um, I guess I'd rather double down against a... Alright, let's fucking, let's just get back here. I'd rather double down against a hobgoblin, wouldn't I, with a blitz? Oh, fuck's sake. I guess I should try to block with the crocs before doing a blitz. Because if he fails, I'm gonna have to blitz him away, aren't I? Oh, baby. Get banged on. <laughs> I'm not I'm not excited for uh, Amazons, but I, I'm, to be honest, I'm not excited for any of the races in Legendary Edition. But I am excited for, like, you know, the the uh, team editor and and all this, all that kind of progression, uh, what's it called, res, res and all that kind of jazz. I'm excited for all that, but yeah, obviously not, not excited for the races at all. So now I can use the blitz on him. That's great, isn't it? Eleven versus ten, and uh, wizard in hand should be a win. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny because, you know, I've, like, fucking Sage may, may pretend to be super excited and Kano makes pretend to be super excited. But really, you know, I've played Fumble for fucking years. Played Blood Bowl 1 and OFL. You know, I've played, used all the races forever anyway, so... The new races doesn't, really, really doesn't excite me at all. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, zombie number seven, I'm back. I'm back now. Back from my, uh... Yeah, but I've played Slan, so it's the same mechanics, isn't it? Like, it's kind of cool to see what the, what the animations are and stuff, you know. They're easy wins in the right hands, to be honest, warning grenade. <laughs> it doesn't matter what hands. Ogres, halflings and goblins, and they're easy wins. And sure, there's the odd game where, like, you know, a good coach can do things with them. But they're pretty reliant on the dice and mistakes from the opponents. Um, but yeah, yeah, of course, like you know, see what the animations are and stuff. Like, sure, but it's but the thing is, though, that's the thing, Jam Toast. The the other people get the easy games too, don't they? So. Yeah, all the good teams are already in. There's only Amazons, isn't there? Oh, the new teams. Might Croxy him? Might as well. Oh yeah, vampires. Vampires are decent. Vampires are decent, yeah. Right, go for the Croxy on him, just because he's got mighty blow. <laughs> Jam that guy as well.
strange formation, isn't it? Every, all of these guys all all together in a line, all these together in a cage, but maybe jump toes. But this is this is uh, this is the thing. This is the thing with. Ah, yeah, the playoffs will be easy, but then it depends how they can do the thirty-two teams. You know, it's certainly going to be easier to qualify, isn't it? If they give you wild cards and stuff, that's going to be good. Yeah, the playoffs expanding to thirty-two was something that needed to happen. I think I would have already just had wild cards and stuff. Um, so, you know, it, it provided they give you extra wild cards, that's going to be really good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I mean, it's not a cage, obviously, to protect the ball. The the cage is there simply to protect them getting based by that hobgoblin if he double GFIs. So they just happened to go into a cage. It wasn't, you know, I wasn't I wasn't thinking I had a cage in my backfield or anything. Oh, I'll definitely, I'll definitely random lightning bolt if I have to. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely not. I I maybe not use it by being dumb. Um, but I'll at least I'll at least be M bowling. Ah, the new teams do have claws. The new teams have, they've got uh, Underworld have claw have the best claw players. In fact, don't they? They're literally the best claw players in the game. Um, yeah, it's a formation the Crusaders. That's true. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what what. What's it called? What are they called? Underworld can have three claw pom, can't they? Um, definitely two. Three if they want. Did you just dodge there? Dirty dingo. I think I'm going to take the push so I can surf him. Nah, I've got to take the skull on and I've got my evil. Ha 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 ha! Get fucked on! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh, brilliant. I had to take it, didn't I? I really wanted to go for the surf, but I had to take that. Alright. So, yeah, I could surf him. Could just push him to there, push him to there, push him to there, and then surf. But I've got to hit a, got to hit a hobgoblin, haven't I? Um, somehow. Maybe him, 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 and then block. But I just want to use the block to not turn over. Would have got me a knockdown. Shit. That's the next best thing, isn't it? Try to get a mighty blow hit in. thing is, he's going to be able to harass the cage a little bit now, isn't he? But I've got the wizard if I have to. Two men up now. Two blockers down. He's in trouble, isn't he? I don't really want to stand him up because he could technically surf him. So next turn he can stand up. Yeah, it is blitzing with the crocs like a scrub. Yeah, it's true. But he's got mighty blow, hasn't he? I'm not going to use a reroll on, on the block. So once you've decided you're not going to reroll the block, um, you might as well use the Saurus. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, Tony. That is a very good point. Um, it's Red who would like to score the touchdown. So, yes, would like to do a 1-0 up. Would like to do handoff. Definitely, his edge four is out of the game.
30 then. Bro. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Just give us a three dice and an AV seven. Um, but I can't re-roll it, can I? So, but I've I've got to make it because I got to blitz blitz the guy who's basing the ball. He had to base the ball. Nice. Oh, path less taken. Yep. I've missed I've missed Blood Bowl to be honest. And missed streaming the like the last couple of weeks, but Blood Bowl for ages. Oh there you go, that is a bastard. That is an absolute bastard. So Stop fucking fighting everything! Ah! Oh shit. Shit, what an idiot I am. That could have been him. Fuck. Hello. Right, this is... Um... Now I can blitz him and then run back. Base the ball. Right. <laughs> we'll push him to there. There's no real way to get through, is there? I don't think. I think I've got just about enough to survive here. These fucking pushes, though. Holy shit. At least I didn't double skull though, so there is that. That was a bit risky if that had been a push. Oh, that bonehead was a bastard, wasn't it? Fuck. Yeah, that was pretty nice of him, and then fucking bone over it. I think the ball's safe here. That's a bold move, Cotton. <laughs> wow. Asking to get his blocker surfed here. Oh, he could get the touchdown. Penny. Oh, she. Could use a bolt, I guess. Could bolt him. Look at him trying to stop the fucking Saurus touchdown, what a bastard. Maybe I should bolt him. I think I will actually. Makes the surf easy because it's 2D then, isn't it? First, oh no, I'll do this one because it, it has to work. Good.
so they're kind of taking it. Wasn't that an exciting? It wasn't that exciting a lightning ball, but it did get the surf, didn't it? Which is essentially the same as the cars for the dry. Really got to get my Saurus downfield next turn. Go for the handle. Wait, do, do wizards not have mighty blow in in legendary edition? Oh man! <laughs> I would love a pro strategy series on basing the ball because there are good times and bad times to do it, isn't it? Wow, that's crazy. Surely that'll be fixed. Surely that'll have to be fixed. That's crazy. Fuck off with your minus two Ds. Surely that'll be fixed. Because, I mean, there's the double six fucking... Double six on on armor or injury crashes the game, doesn't it, with Mighty Blow? So surely that'll be fixed. One dice. <laughs> New house rule. Fucking shit me. He's actually in range, isn't he? Just basing. Gonna free up Penny this turn to try and uh, score eventually. Yeah, it's funny, it's funny, isn't it? How they managed to, how they managed to do that. Oh, he's not fucking. He's not gonna let me score with my Saurus, is he? What an asshole! It's crazy, isn't Jolly? But they're gonna. I mean, they've announced it. They've announced that it's released on the 5th of Sep. So it's getting fucking released on the 5th of Sep, that's it. And and it's going to be for money as well, the, the fucking champion ladder. And, yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's true, that's true, Bob Skills, but I imagine, I imagine it might be very, very bad. But there you go. Wow. Additional dodge for no reason. Oh no, he was boneheaded. Man, face the ball. Motherfucker. Motherfucker with his ball base and an infinite dodgy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right. I can run him round to there. Ah, it's a GFI. Right. 
He wants to be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI. He just 3Ds him, then it's a GFI for him, isn't it? So I guess I guess at least put him on there. And him on there. He pushes him to there. This is a bit dodgy, isn't it? But I've got to do it. Right, got the power. Had to be the one in nine, didn't it? Now he's too far away to pick it up, but I guess the other one can score. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI. Need bother. One. Two, three, four, five, six, GFI. So we're gonna be better with him. No, oh, it's gone for the handoff anyway, Jovial. <laughs> no, it's gone for the handoff, but just a bit unlucky, wasn't it, to get the push and then the uh, then the fail the dodge. There's about a one in eighteen or something, isn't it? Yeah, I guess that that's a that's a pro tip, isn't it? For putting somebody in the end zone in case of a fail, something that a lot of people don't do, I guess. Bastard! Oh, what the fuck, Muir? Blood Bowl, um, <laughs> doing okay, thank you. Yeah, actually enjoying Blood Bowl, enjoying streaming, going pretty well today. Don't even think about making this pass, you motherfucker. Now the touchdown is not looking easy, is it? Do you know what? He's the one in fucking handoff range, isn't he? And he's the one that I want to score the least. Double GFI to him. Oh, that's got to be better than scoring. Yeah. You are right, John Toast. <laughs> but if I'd done the handoff straight away, I would have been a three, it would have still failed.
Yes, indeed. Indeed, warning grenade. Same with me. Yeah, you know, like Blood Bowl is such a niche game and like so in depth, you can't expect them to have a clue about the game. And unfortunately, they've asked the wrong people when it when it's come to asking people about it. So, and you can't blame them for that either. I don't think. I think they're doing their best. Um, although it was spelt incorrectly. Um, they are doing their best. That's the thing, isn't it? So, maybe they're not doing the best. Maybe if Blizzard got it, it'd be better, but... Exactly, Kurgo. It's caring is the thing, yeah. They're best for, like, the money that brings in, isn't it? That's the thing. Statistically, Dode is the best person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Um, all right, he, he leveled it again, so that's okay. I really don't mind the, the double leveling of a skink. I like to double level them, and then if they don't double, then you sack them because they've double leveled, right? So now he can take sneaky git here. No problem. And then die. And it's no problem, is it? And then I can just actually have a journeyman skink for the next game. No problem. And then uh, once I get to 210k, buy, buy a replacement skink. No need to waste money on another skink. Um, so there you go. That was all right. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.